the New Jerseys came out, and I don't know if you saw them in a photo first or if you wore one first mm -hmm. as a model, but uh, what were your first impressions when you saw these brand new New Jerseys? Uh, I love the jerseys. Um, I did see them before that they were released. Uh, last year we were talking about it a little bit. I was a little bit iffy. It was some getting used to with the new color scheme that we have, the all teal. But now after I've been practicing with it and, you know, Mikey Aldrich convinced me, he's like, <laughs> this is going to look sick. And I was like, you know what? When it all came together, it looks really, really good. It's, it's, it's just a lot different. So initially you're like, I don't know. Do I, do I like it as much as I like the old ones? But yeah, they're, they're really, really cool. And uh, I'm really excited to see us in the Shark Tank with them. It's, it's going to be awesome. So it's, it's cool. Teal buckets for the first time in your life, huh? I know. I know. The teal buckets are, are, are really nice, so I like it. It's a little bit brighter, I feel like, than, the, than yeah. the old teal that we had, yeah. Who cleans up the best on your team and why? Who cleans up the best? Um, it's hard to say that because you have to, kind of have to live with someone to really know that. I feel like everybody <laughs> at the rink carries a high level of respect for around the room. But do you mean like clean up the best as in their appearance? Yeah. Oh. Like when you see them hop off the bus in the suit, like who really, oh, who you know, cleans, who cleans who up? sharp? Who looks sharp? Oh, yeah. Looks Sorry. Nice. Lost in translation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who cleans up the best? Uh, you know, I think Carly always goes yeah. for a good look on the road. Always has a nice suit, um, has a nice watch. You know, he... Uh, he looks good. He looks he's got good. a good strut too. Like it's the way he walks, I think too. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. He's, he's got some, he's got some good swagger to him. So yeah. All right, we asked this to everybody. Now it's your turn. Mario Ferraro is blank. <laughs> uh, Speechless. Mar yeah. Mario Ferraro is crazy. What do you expect? Your, what do you expect? What do you expect your teammates to say on this answer? By the way. Uh, I don't know if I could say it on camera. They'll probably, <laughs> they'll probably chirp me. I don't They've, know. Been They've been family friendly. They've been good. Uh, Mario Ferraro is, um, I don't know. I, I hate doing these because I don't, it's not up to me. So I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to put, put anything in there, any words into their mouth. So I'll let them, I'll let them answer that question if it comes, that was, come around to it. That was great. We'll use that. Yeah. Uh, Burnsy's legacy inside the dressing room what what legacy does he leave he's just all time work ethic he proves that hard work takes you to where you want to be and um, his legacy in the room is just being a physical presence <laughs> uh appearance wise and leadership wise uh he's hilarious um and he likes, he likes a shirt, which is, uh, you know, it's good for a locker room. You'll probably see that in the first game back, huh? Yeah, I'm sure I will. With Carolina. I, yeah, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure I'll get hit by one of his, his shots from the point or something <laughs> like that. And start yapping back and forth. What's the best way to impress a new coach? I'm just uh, working hard, um, being a, a good teammate both on and off the ice. Um, I think just buying into to the way he envisions our team to, to be recognized as. What's one sentence to describe Tech CU Arena? Tech CU Arena is dialed in. What was the first impression? What was the first thing you saw or you noticed when you walked in the first time? Um, just how clean it is and how organized the arena is before there were a little bit of missing parts you know the back door goes out to the parking lot now it's just a really really cool um sharks hallway uh just professionalism all right battle of alberta if you were just a straight up hockey fan if you weren't a, if you weren't a player which side would you take calgary or edmonton <sighs> noah gregor Oil country guy, uh, I, I go with Edmonton. Back in your teammate there, huh? Yeah. Uh, tribute night for Doug Wilson is going to happen, fourth game of the season. Uh, it's very emotional for a lot of people. What's, what's something you would want to say to Doug Wilson? I'd want to tell Doug that, um, you know, he was an unmatched stepping stone for this organization and 
where we are today, uh, he has a lot to do with. Um, and um, we're very, um, I'm very honored and thankful um, because I was a part of this group. Um, a large reason for that is because of you, Doug. So thank you for allowing me to, to prove myself at this level and for giving me this opportunity and um, the many great historic players before me um, that you were a, a large part of giving them their opportunities as well and making this organization have the reputation that it does. What's a better holiday, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day? And tell me why. New Year's Eve. Um, because of the celebrations and a couple drinks and <laughs> the good food. Countdown. And the countdown. <laughs> if you got a spouse or a girlfriend. Somebody to kiss. I see where you're going with kiss, that. Yeah. Partner. Uh, and then, yeah. New I Year's Day, you're just sleeping it off, huh? Yeah, New Year's Day, you're sleeping <laughs> it off. Maybe a little hungover. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe not for our case because we play. But uh, That's why I asked the question <laughs> on both days. See, there that's is some thought true, in this. That's true. That we play, so it might not be for everybody. I, you're I've going had, from Dallas to Chicago. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, no, you're, you're going from Dallas to Chicago on, on that uh, yes, New Year's Eve, yes, New Year's Day. Yes, yes, yeah. Tell me something that you know about Prague. Because you're going there. Uh, that Tommy is very familiar with that area. And he's going to have to show us around and <laughs> give us the, uh, the inside scoops about that place. I can't wait to see it. Heard put, great things. Put everything on the hurdle tab, huh? Oh, yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to hand you this. Have a look at it. You might recognize one or both people on there. Okay, what I'm going to ask you to do in a second is put that, show that to the camera. Put it right below your chin, right? But I want you to... Point to who you think is Batman and point to who you think is Robin of this duo right there. Hold it up right below your chin and do it. Really? <laughs> okay. Who's Batman and who's Robin? Come on. I love you, but <laughs> Batman. Aww. Aww. <laughs> is it the beard? Is that it? It's the beard. See? If you lost some teeth like I did, maybe you'd be... Batman? You'd be Batman. <laughs> or if you had that luscious flow like you used to have, maybe it would be... Oh, the lettuce, huh? Yeah, yeah the All lettuce. Right. I'll take that yeah. back. I got a couple more for you here. I have to make it interesting there. Uh, hey, Patrick Marlowe is going to get 12 in the rafters. My goodness. Uh, what do you expect that to be like? It's, uh, it's going to be a special night. Um... And I think that it's going to bring on uh, a lot of motivation for our, our group of guys. Uh, you know, we see a name like that that's hanging in the rafters. Um, you know, when we're out there battling and if we're down a goal or if we got the lead, you know, we remember how Patty played every night, gave it his all. And um, that's something that can push us through tough games or tough stretches. And um, yeah. It's good. Uh, it's a very special night. It's a good, uh, good experience for, for the Marlowe family and for our group. Do you have a favorite hockey movie? Yeah, I'll go with Miracle. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Inspirational too, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you probably grew up in the Mighty Ducks era a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. More of a uh, Miracle guy. Yeah. All right. 